The hackathon is called Hack Trafficking for Good, and it was organized by Demand Abolition along with uh, Thorn and the Cease Network. And the purpose is they came up with several projects in advance that would help law enforcement use the online traces of this uh, of sex traffic in the U.S. to better focus law enforcement efforts in order to end sex trafficking. Thomson Reuters is very committed to uh, the fight against modern slavery and human trafficking. Sex trafficking happens in every city, state, and town. No community is immune to this issue. We want to find these guys where they are. We want to catch these guys brokering 60 to 80% of these transactions online, and we want to stop them. And that's what we're all gathered here today to do, to come up with really innovative technological solutions that are going to allow us to do just that. This is the real deal. We are talking about a massive online infrastructure to exploit people. And we're in a marathon against them, and they started the marathon two hours ago. And now we're starting, and we're playing massive, massive catch up. So my team, Instagram is over here, we're working on the resource app. So it's basically an application that will help victims of uh, human trafficking get access to resources or organizations that can help them within their neighborhood or wherever they're currently located. Our goal is to help law enforcement identify three things. Which Johns can be charged with promoting prostitution? Secondly, we want to know about new trends. So again, if there's a new country or a new tactic or a new meeting place, we should be able to see that appear first on discussion boards before it becomes a widespread reality. And lastly, if the Johns are talking about measures they're taking to avoid law enforcement, that should show up to you on the message boards. And this set of tools can help us hone in on the topic and on the individuals. Now that we have the internet, men are able to buy women and children at a greater level. If we can stop the buyers, then there will be no need to sell people again. The types of work that you all are doing about other disruptive techniques against these Johns is going to be essential to disrupt this criminal network because law enforcement isn't necessarily going to be able to get at those 98,000 dudes a day. And by the way, that's the lowest, lowest, lowest conservative estimate. I think it's more like 300, 400,000 dudes a day. So what's going to happen next in this network is they're going to turn mobile. And they already have. Data science is changing the world and it's changing the way we run governments in Boston. When you think about it, we wouldn't think about this issue with data. This isn't one of the issues that we would talk about data. I would talk about how do we remove snow with data. I would talk about how do we build more efficient buildings with data. I would talk about how we deliver services with data. But this is completely something new. Today, all of you, some of you, one of you, have an opportunity to make a difference in somebody's life. And that's what this is all about. It's how do we make a real, real concrete difference in somebody's life and the future of their life forever. So I want to thank all the innovators who came out today uh, to make this history a reality.